Hey, what the hell is going on, you guys? It is Stupid Player Negative AE, and welcome back to Into the Breach. Uh, so, last we left off, we had just done these two, uh, or this one, these two, because this is nothing. The, this is the thing that we did. Um, I looks like I want to go for stars and stuff. I mean, I want to go here for sure. Um, but I also want to go here. What are the, I guess, what are the things here? Get at least seven enemies. Protect the emergency batteries. Break three buildings and take less than th three grid damage. Okay. So I think what I want to do... Also, there, if you hear lawn mowing, people are lo mowing their lawn for some reason. I am very sorry. We're going to go ahead and do this one. Uh, because... Okay. So does... I, I hope... I hope that them taking damage does not also have to like if i have to break them out of the ice and that does damage to them then i cannot possibly do these two objectives so i'm guessing that one hit is the ice and the next hit is damage if that makes sense so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have you right there actually no mm. switch you and you you're gonna go here because this is whatever and then you can go here because you can like do whatever here and then you will be back there okay uh, I yeah, I understand in my head what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Pod incoming. Retrieve the tech. That's actually pretty doable. Okay. Okay, so, hold on. First things first. You. I'm gonna stop you from doing this. Second of all, that'll kill him. Third of all. Must be hit twice. Okay, so we can go across this ice tile right here. Hit you into you. Actually, I think the better plan would be to put you back here. Right, like that. Pump you back. He's not gonna, is he gonna do stuff? Is he gonna break the ice or is he gonna do the damage? Be because if he's gonna break the ice, okay, he is gonna break the ice. He's gonna do zero damage, break two ices. I don't need to really worry about it. In fact, I wanna do this. Actually, can we undo that move? I actually... Would it be smart to do that though? I mean, that's gonna be three things. I guess the correct play here is to destroy well no because they're the idea is that they're both gonna die no vex are gonna spawn and we're good so let's just do that nice He 
he's gonna break those buildings out of ice. They're just being helpful to me. Alright. Uh, so there's really no point in doing anything here. I mean, I want to stop these Vec from coming through. So I would very much like to like, oh, here's what I can do. You know what I'm saying? And then just like. Oh no, 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 no. We can act. We might as well kill. Actually undo them. We might as well just like right on top of you. Done. Cool. And turn. He's gonna break more ice, which is good. There's really no downside to him moving around hitting stuff. So does me throwing him behind me with the vice grip do anything? I imagine it will. Yeah, break, it breaks the ice. I can see it down below. Good. And then he dies, right? Is that how that works? Excellent. What's, what's the turn order here? Okay, so this man goes first. I think if we undo Mu... Okay, so hold on. Let's think about this. Let's take it slow. Let's take it slow and think about this. Because there's, there's a lot of things that are going to happen this turn. These things are going to die. That's just a thing that is going to happen. Uh, and so... Or, or, it's not a thing that's going to happen because I'm going to stop it. But why and where and how do I stop it? So, Om Omar killed one of them. Which is good. If I move you out of the way. Here's what we do. We move you here. You that way. You're gonna land on the ice. Then I move you there and burst you backwards. That way, the only thing that'll happen is he runs into him. Done. Sorry, I hit my desk. Freaking, I hate when they do that. Yep, critical. Critical is fine. Got some praying mantis motherfuckers. That's fine. It's perfect actually. Let's keep doing that. That's not okay. We could actually. You dead. You're dead, cause that. I win in one turn, so all I need to do is stop anything from happening this turn. Move you that way. And just repair? I, I just have to protect it, right? Okay, so yeah. So what's gonna happen is I move you this way. 
shoot you that way. He's gonna attack the people, they're gonna get out of the ice. I attack. Here. Sure. Everything's fine. Every, I mean, I was hoping to break them out of the ice. Uh, so that way everything would be broken out of the ice. Maybe I get special points or something. You, you do that. You do that. You do that. And you do that. Done. Good. And we have a time pod. We did, we did work. What was that? Oh my God, that's crazy. Dude, that with like buildings immune? Oh, it does self damage. I, I was gonna say that's crazy, but now that it does self damage, I don't know about that. Understood, okay. So, what? Useful for upgrading max. So we should probably... No, because the dash is super helpful for movement. Just movement sake. I was gonna say we should install it here. Should honestly install it there that way we can do something like this unnecessary but I will accept it uh, yeah until we can get the plus one damage off I think the plus one damage would be very helpful. Because, it, it, I mean, he's already helpful in moving people. Uh, but to kill mechs, or to kill the, the vec, I think we need stuff. Test mech. Okay, well, I don't want to do that, because I know it's going <laughs> to... I know one extra move and it's going to be helpful to me. Uh, okay. High threat detected. We're gonna go ahead and do this thing. We're gonna go ahead and do this thing. Just because that's uh, helpful to me. Uh, what is this? I don't know. The digger. I don't know if I like that. Um, and we got two people. This guy is obviously more threatening than these things. These are the robot factories. We're gonna put that guy there. We're going to put this guy, like, right there, and then we'll put that guy in the back. Cool. Alright. Pod incoming. Great news. This man is crazy. Can I move him? What the fuck is this? Can Cannon mech, what are you doing? an enemy? He's an enemy because it shows him attacking me. I don't know if I appreciate that very much. Okay, 
So, what the fuck? This is obviously priority number one. To, to not take damage, right? So, um... It, you just do this. And I don't think... I don't know if that'll stop him. He's like armored and shit. Do three damage to me, you son of a bitch. All right, tell you what, we throw this guy that way. Well, fuck, man, what are you supposed to do here? He's gonna do damage to that thing. We, I think, we just have to let that go. Because the way I see this working, I vice grip that guy behind me. He's going to then be attacking this mech. Then I take the guy that I just freed with this mech, move him forward, pick up the time pod, and shoot that guy that way. Do I get to move after that? Now that I can move him? We could do this. It would do two damage to him and one damage to my mech. I think I'd rather have this guy die than this guy die. You know what I'm saying? He has three health. This annoys me very- can we reset the turn? It, it's, it annoys me because I can, I can do that without taking very, as much damage, I think. We do that. Pod secured. thing though you're gonna do all five damage no 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 we can't have this mech die unfortunately five damage is too much damage to do I just have to let that guy go protect the robot factories and they're spewing they're spewing evil robots are we being for real right now can we think about what's going on here okay so we obviously do this well no because we can do this You know what I'm saying? 
you did something like that? Three fire damage. I'm confused. Okay, so I, there was a. I, I was thinking about maybe trying to get rid of him. You're just over here doing nothing, dude. Over here being a nuisance. So annoying. Oh my god. Cause now I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have to lose two things. That's too many things. Mm -hmm. Why are they attacking their own robot factory? Wouldn't that be like their mother or something? Why? Oh my god, why? Is there a way to do anything here? I can kill if I do... He needs to die. He needs to be moved. So if we do something like... If we do something like that... Then we do that. That'll move him back. Crash my mech into that. He's still gonna attack me, but that's... I'll move. He's attacking a city. Well, no, because I want to kill him. So the first the first plan of action should be this. Take the damage for the mech. Done. Done. Then I move you here. Right? You're just going to do one damage. Okay. Does that mean he's gonna do two damage because of the forest fire? I mean, uh, okay. So, flip. survive one more turn of this bullshit, dude. One more turn of this bullshit. Please don't take another damage because of the fire. Please let me move. Please let me move the thing. Okay. It's actually perfect. That's... Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Action available. Okay, so this guy can die if he if, if, if I wanted to. So the the idea is that he's attacking me. I don't care about that much. Who attacks first? He attacks before he goes. So, that's my plan of action, currently. He needs to heal, because he's on fire. So you need to go there, and you need to heal. That's just what you need to do. Because if you don't, you're going to take damage with the fire. And I don't want that. 
but somehow I need to stop that from happening. Somehow, because if I shoot this guy, all he's going to take is one damage from bumping into his friend. Whereas if I shoot this guy, there's really, he's going to do the damage no matter what. So now we're in a predicament. Now we're in a, do we want... Do we care about this guy enough? Because if we want, we can easily prevent any damage by doing this and shooting. And then we lose a character. I think this is probably the best plan of action. Unfortunately. We're gonna have to sacrifice this man. I'm sorry, Aerie Lee. Because now what we can do is we can shoot you that way. So you don't do any damage. And then punch you back. We're still gonna take one damage. We would have taken two damage, actually. So that was probably the best plan. Because we needed to do that. Fuck, man. There was probably better ways to play that. Now we're down to one thing. Like, we can't make any mistakes. They don't think it's gonna happen. Got another time pod though. I think we have to go here. human pilots. Oh, we have another pilot here. We have Silica. This pilot is a sentient machine and requires reactor power to activate its special ability. Double shot. Requires two power. twice if it does not move. Silica. <laughs> That's crazy. Install another thing to you. That makes me think that it's freaking crazy. Although buildings being immune is very helpful. I like repair drop. It's no cost to anything and it's really good. All right, so let's, what, t what time are we at on the video? Let's do one more. Protect the batteries. We're trying to get a thing. These, these are the emergency batteries? Okay. So, probably best to have you there. Really best to have you there and you there. You have this whole left side to do anything, and hopefully this mech can deal with anything on this side. You 
know what to do. Okay, so these only have one health, right? Right? We got one health. Okay, so the idea is that each mech can handle one of these people. So what we'll do is we'll move you. So I, the only place I can attack is right there. So that's really good actually. So we can move you here. We'll boost you backwards into the water. You won't attack anything, we'll be good. You'll attack you and you'll attack you. We'll have every mech dead. Or everything dead. Not just a mech thing. That's gone. Well, not every mech, everything dead, but I guess we will have every mech dead. That's gone now. And uh, you'll be gone now. Do I want that forest on fire? Not right now. I do not want that forest on fire, unfortunately. Okay, we got jumping mans. actually quite perfect so what do we do uh, we do some things I think the first plan of action is probably to go here punch you You're doing zero damage to me? It's interesting. So then that. Then we can come over here. And just deal with this man. Kind of immediately. Cool. This, I like Silica a lot. Silica's doing work. And we got four damage on this thing now? Or four health on this thing? It's pretty crazy. You, the, if anything, our artillery needs to survive. Which is more likely than anything else. I guess the idea is that I shoot that that way. Mm. Uh, this is an odd situation. How much damage are you doing to me? Three? Uh, I gotta sit and sit here and think about this because the idea is that I don't want any damage to happen. The only people that are doing damage to anything right now are these two flying guys. So I only need to worry about two people really. Um, and he's not—he's gonna do—he's gonna do a lot of damage to me, but it's not enough to kill. But can I get rid of him so that I don't take that damage? Be fine. I don't know. The, I can't move him backwards, so that's fine. But I can move him here. Or here. Actually, I can move him here. Shoot here. Move you that way. I might be able to. Okay. Uh, this is my first plan of action. Don't take any damage. Second plan of action, move you back, boom, shoot you that way so you don't do any damage. Then I punch you back, lip. Now I could have played that even better, I think, actually. I could have moved him here. Then had you do damage to him for free. I don't want to reset it though because it's still a good turn. 
And all I need to do is survive one more turn. I don't want to reset because I can reset the next turn. If I want to. I hate when they attack buildings, dude. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that problem will take care of itself. Uh, there's four people potentially with problems here. Um, okay. There's four people with problems. I can take care of two of them with a joint attack. The idea is that I can't take any damage here. These these two that are attacking my robot are not needed to deal with. I can just forget about them for, forever. They're, they don't matter to me. What's the t attack order? You go before. And you're doing two damage. Okay. That's kind of perfect for me. Flip. Right? You're gonna do two damage to him before he even gets a chance to attack because you're going th third. So that deals with them two. And he doesn't even. So what? Okay. This is perfect. This is, per this is a perfect situation. I can't lose anything here. I punch you into him, move you forward. Do that move. And I just punch you back. And then no one's in danger. I win. Huh? Nothing. Dead. Dead. We did it. We protect the batteries. We didn't take a single point of damage. We protected everybody. We're good. So now we can do the boss, which I'm surprised that I did so well. I'm surprised that I did so well that one. Um, this is probably going to be the hardest thing ever because I can only lose one power grid to do anything. Uh, that's going to be rough. Hopefully everybody survives though. Even if I take, I've never had a power grid failure. Does that mean all my people survive too? Because that would be amazing. And then I could just go in with this stuff on the next time I go. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button. I really appreciate that. Also, subscribe. You guys know the deal. Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode, whatever it may be. And uh, peace out, you guys.